What's Wrong with Mud? Written by Julian Colley and illustrated by Nikki Shoemaker. Look out! screamed Mama Duck. Run! yelled Tulip. All the ducks scattered. A huge chunk of mud flew over the fence and landed right where Mama Duck had been standing a few seconds before. Here we go again, cried Toddles. That's disgusting. How can they stand to live like that? mumbled Waddles. He was hiding behind a large rock in the yard. What a mess! They're such pigs, moaned Tulip. Oh, quit your complaining, said a voice from over the fence. What do you expect? We are pigs! On the other side of the fence was the pigsty. It was nothing more than a huge puddle of mud. The pigs loved to roll around in it. It kept them cool and comfortable. Every now and again, Hamlet would dig his snout in the mud and fling it at his sister, Pinky. Before long, there would be a huge mud fight. Sometimes, the mud would fly over the fence and hit a poor, unsuspecting duck. The ducks hated to get dirty. Their days were spent lounging by their pond. They would dip and dive in the water and then come to the edge of the pond to clean their feathers until they shined. I can't imagine why you would want to get so dirty. Look at yourselves. You're a disgrace, said Tulip. See how beautiful we are? Our feathers practically sparkle in the sunshine. You've got to be kidding, snorted Hamlet. You spend all day cleaning yourselves? What fun is that? I'll bet you don't even know how to play. Everyone knows you can't have fun without getting a little dirty. That's not true squawked waddles we have races over the water and dive to the bottom for pebbles we see who can swim farthest underwater and all without getting dirty you should try it maybe we can said smudge he was looking up and realized the gate was not completely closed with a little push it swung open we'll try yours if you'll try ours they all talked it over and decided to give the idea a try. The ducks slowly waddled into the sty. Hamlet and the rest of the pigs made their way over to the pond. The ducks just stood there looking at each other until Waddle started to scream. He had made his way to the top of a mud pile. When he tried to clean some of the mud off his feet, he began to slide towards a giant puddle of muck. There was a huge splash. Yahoo! he shouted. That was great! Waddles quickly climbed back to the top of the pile of mud. This time he made a run for it and slid down on his belly. He went so fast he slid across the entire puddle and came to a stop on the other side. The other ducks forgot about how dirty they were getting and joined in the fun. They played chasing games and splashing games. They were having a wonderful time. Meanwhile, back at the pond, the pigs were just standing around when Hamlet stepped backwards and accidentally pushed Pinky into the deep water. Before they could do anything, she came bobbing up with a lily pad on her head. She felt light as a feather. It was a very strange feeling for a pig. Wow! she shouted. You've got to try this. With that, all the other pigs made their way into the water. It wasn't long before they were chasing each other through the cattails and climbing out of the water just to jump back in. The longer they spent in the water, the cleaner they got. Soon, they were all a lovely shade of pink. It is getting dark. It will soon be time for bed, quacked Mama Duck to everyone. Slowly, the clean pigs made their way back to the sty, and the muddy, tired ducks waddled back to their pond. From that day on, the pigs and ducks lived happily next to each other. They no longer complained about how each other lived and played. And, on the rare occasion when the gate was left open, they would sneak out and play together until the sun went down. <laughs>